So we need to talk about everything that's happening with City Skylines 2. I have a really bad cold, which is why I sound weird, which is why I look weird, but I wanted to talk about this anyway. I really thought City Skylines 2 wasn't gonna succumb to the buy now patch later curse that all of the video game publishers are doing recently. The, oh, uh, we'll just release it in a bad state. Get the money in from the unassuming consumers who don't know any better and then we'll use that money to fix it later. I just just don't like it. What I've said and I've heard many other people say which is that this game should have just come out as a open beta because that way the end consumer, the players, they are able to make an informed decision whether or not they want to buy a game that's broken and wait for it to be fixed or to just not buy it at all and the problem with not doing the open beta transparency thing is that you can really harm your reputation by pretending it's a full game by upselling it as one and having it actually not being that good. Of course they have released statements online but most players they don't go on to a video game publisher's website, look at their blogs to double check what they've said about the game before making a purchase. They will just purchase it. It's not reasonable to expect I think the end consumer to research blogs and articles about a game before buying it. Where does that leave us with City Skylines 2? Firstly I think it's a very 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 strong reminder that we should never ever pre-order games. A few years ago pre-ordering a game was like this fun exciting thing that you do but now it's like a gamble, it's like a risk. Oh I really want this pre-order content but the game might be shite so you know what do I do? And I think it's a shame not just for cities but for video games in general because obviously a lot of pre-release income for a game comes from pre-orders and that money is obviously used to help fund the development of the game. If publishers continue to to release games as a full experience but it's actually very clearly beta, people will be less inclined in the future to get pre-orders and then they're less likely to make the money. And that means the development will be worse and everybody will be worse off. And we're seeing the same thing I think happening now with Cities 2. Some people have pre-ordered the game but other people have chosen to wait. Right now on Steam it's got mixed reviews but yesterday it had negative so it seems to be changing. Based on the current state of the game I now know many people who are refusing to purchase the game until it improves but obviously they need the money for the purchases in order to fund the post-release development in order to patch it and that's where it's in I think a lot of trouble. This is why I truly believe they should have released it as early access. So many people have said the same it would have been a lot more transparent and it's a shame because I really don't want this game to fail because I have this fear now that the developers are working overtime to fix all the issues and bring it up to scratch because it's getting such negative press. But of course when you do that you get burnt out and when you get burnt out you do a shit job because you're tired and then they will eventually give up and then that will cause the players to give up and then the higher up bosses will give up on the game and accept it as a loss and everybody gives up and it's abandoned. This happens all the time. Obviously it's not the developer's fault this is happening. It's got to be an upper management issue. The kinds of people who look at graphs but they've actually never played a video game in their entire lives. These are the people who make the stupid decisions and based on how video games have been going just over the past couple of years it seems that they haven't learned their lesson yet and it's just going to continue going on and on. A lot of people are talking about the hardware incompatibility, the performance issues, the frame rate, the graphics which are definitely issues with this game. I mean I just literally just like looked at my screen look at these do you know what I mean the shadows around the roundabout what's going on here. Oh, for some reason my water and ship pipes were not connecting so I had to make like a, a workaround pipe to make them connect but these two buildings are still yapping on that there's a backed up sewer so don't know what's going on there. Terraforming guys the terraforming is awful every single map is like weirdly hilly and even where it's not too hilly it's still just like feels a bit weird the way everything kind of sits down the buildings. I've seen a lot of people complain about zoning about how there's too much demand for low residential and it just feels a little bit too unrealistic like it's almost too balanced to the point where it like doesn't feel realistic. There's been some other issues as well I've noticed when I did my original review of the game which I mentioned in that review so I won't go over it all again but the biggest issue for me is the lack of features which is a strange thing to say because the game is like objectively better than the first game and actually has tons of brand new features which I absolutely love. Like it feels like a sequel with the new features but in some ways 
that they have gone back a little bit. For example, if I place two roads next to each other, you can't really dictate which side of the road you want to zone on. But I believe in City Skylines 1, it had an update where you could do that, but they didn't really bring it over to Cities 2. Another thing that I think is boiling the piss of quite a few people is their lack of decoration. So we got vegetation, like we have got some basic plants, but it's not really that much. Nothing, there's also like nothing really that colorful. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like they could have added a little bit more than what we've got. It doesn't really feel like that much, especially when you're trying to convince people to transition from Cities 1 to Cities 2. What you need to do is basically give them everything that we had in Cities 1 so they don't have an excuse to stay on Cities 1. Another thing, like we don't have dirt paths, we just have this one. Another thing we don't have is keys, is in Q-U-A-Y-S, the quays as some people call it. I tried to make one but I couldn't make it work. I know I've seen some Cities YouTubers make it by exploiting bugs or something, by exploiting the terrain tool, but exploiting the terrain tools in a backwards way to make it look like there's a key but there's not actually a key that's not the same thing the fact of the matter is the game hasn't come with any and yeah it's just a little bit immersion breaking another thing i've seen people mention a lot i don't know if this was an issue in the first game but if you create a pedestrian street that cars cannot park on and you put commercial on there sometimes you'll get commercial lots and things which have car parks which obviously doesn't make any sense same with the residential i believe some residential lots they do come with car parks just like this one here like why do we have parking for a pedestrian lot street do you know what i mean i've also seen a lot of people say that the game looks very gray in terms of buildings like in real life like buildings are ugly and gray <laughs> but like i understand it in that like a lot of the buildings just look very samey i guess it's difficult because like when you play you look from a top-down perspective but i guess even when you zoom in oh gosh we got some graphical glitches here <laughs> i was going to try and show you you how you know they all look the same but I can't because they're all blurry but you can kind of see I guess it does lack a little bit of the creativity that I guess we had in the first game I've also heard a lot of people mention that North American and European styles don't look that different I haven't actually played with North American style because I'm do you know what I mean I'm European but you guys let me know if you've played with both and seen I've also seen a lot of people complain that all of the maps look basically the same as well and people really wanted a desert map I'm not too bothered about a desert map I'm not gonna lie I wanted more of a European looking map especially with a lot of flatlands because all of the maps are way too hilly. Another big thing that people seem to be annoyed about is the lack of Steam Workshop integration. Now it's not that we can't have mods it's just they're now using their own like private mod platform instead of relying on Steam Workshop because that way they can bring mods to console which I think is amazing and I'm really really glad that they've done it this way. I think in terms of that Obviously, we haven't seen it yet, so we don't know how it's going to work. I'm hoping that it gets integrated well. I'm also hoping that they don't become too authoritarian because when you give a publisher too much control, there is a chance they may become very authoritarian with the types of mods that exist. Hopefully, they will just let modders do whatever they want to do. Even so, if you're a PC player, like I'm pretty sure somebody will find a backwards way of installing mods even without the official mod loader. So I'm sure people will be modding in like strip clubs and things like <laughs> there's always a way also another thing okay that not many people are talking about which is pissing me off a bit is when you go into the building select screen you can't really see like the border of the building you're trying to place and it makes it really difficult to place it do you know what i mean like if i want to place a parking lot like the actual thing it doesn't have a grid around it so i can't see where i'm placing it i can't see how big it is so like i just have to guess it's the same when you do uh zoning i guess you can click off this so you can see things normally but when you immediately click on zoning it turns like white like this you can't see anything it's a little bit annoying or well, now my building's becoming skeletons <laughs> i've also seen a lot of people say that the game performs well to begin with but then as time goes on as the city gets bigger it becomes a lot worse this is something i've noticed too because as soon as i started playing the game firstly i was like what are these issues people are yapping on about like i'm in top settings i've got setting high for everything and I've only got a mediocre PC. What are these people chatting on with their £5,000 PCs yapping on about performance issues? But then my city got bigger and then I had performance issues and then I switched to medium graphics and it was still performing bad and I was like, oh. I just don't know what to think about it. Another thing 
okay, call me nitpicky. I don't like how we've got these white lines on junctions and things. I don't like it. These little white lines on the roads. I want them gone, to be honest. I want them all gone. I also wanted a brush tool for making vegetation. There's a lot I want, but it's not there. It was really difficult for me as well doing my review of the game because I love it. I literally, this is the funny thing. Even though like it is crap right now, I did say in my initial review of the game, it feels like it's a good game. It's just been birthed way too prematurely. And honestly, I feel like if they did go down the route of early access release, it would have been a lot better for them because it would have really helped them to understand, you know, what the players want. Because sure, they can watch YouTube videos of big YouTubers saying, oh, I really like this mod. I wish we had this in the base game. But you know, there's a difference between a, a YouTuber and a standard user who doesn't post about things online. If they did a open beta early access, I think they would have got a lot more valuable feedback. That way it would have been a bit less of a gamble. I was just playing the game last night. Like I was just messing around with the different tools in this little city. And I was thinking to myself, like, I really want to love this, but I can't. Like I do love it. I think it's great. But in the state that it's in, I can't deal with it. You know, I actually tried to build a cute little forestry area here. But when I placed the building down, would it still be broken? <laughs> I'm also having really big issues placing bridges and I'm having to make these like ugly bridges that I really hate. Like I can't make it look nice because the game's doing like a crap job at understanding how to place bridges. Oh, and now my game's just frozen. <laughs> That's lovely. I think we're gonna have to task manager and end task and process on this. Oh no, we've got back, we're alive. What do I want to happen? I would like Paradox to release another statement. They released a statement before release, but I feel like they should release an apology statement and I feel like they need to do some damage control by the means of reassuring the end consumers us that the game is going to get fixed. They need to reassure us that they're going to add more features. I think they also need to give us a timeline because it's all well said and done if you just say oh we're going to fix it we're working on an ASAP. No not necessarily deadlines but we want to know timelines. Okay firstly we're going to patch these issues then we're going to sort out these and then we're going to add three missing content that should have been in the base game and we're going to tell you what that content is they just need to do a lot more damage control because video games that release crap are saveable cyberpunk was shite and they absolutely did a cracking job of saving it city skylines 2 is not doomed i don't want it to be doomed i want them to sort the shit out but i don't want them to get burned out like i want them to take their time and actually do a really good job i also want upper management of video game publishers to actually like play a video game for once and just like you know understand what video games actually are about and how their management process is and their I'm chatting shit because do you know what I mean I play YouTube for a living <laughs> I don't know anything about business but I feel like you know I don't know anything about business as a gamer and the business people don't know anything about gaming even though they work in the gaming industry I think they need to sort their shit out the upper management also are there any other features that I haven't mentioned that you think are missing from the base game of Cities 2 that nobody else is talking about let me know because I've tried really hard to think but I just can't think of anything. If you didn't watch my review I will link to it here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.